tags, tags, more tags, yay! Hello everybody, welcome to Story Nut. my name is Hannah and today I am filming a tag video for you guys. I have been tagged by the wonderful Michael from Bitten by a Radioactive Book to do the A to Z bookish survey. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the information for the creator in this tag as well as Michael's video. So check those out. It's like a survey going for the whole alphabet. So let's get going. A. Author you've read the most. And for me, that is most definitely William Shakespeare, if he counts. I think he counts because I've read about 15 of his plays. So William Shakespeare. B. Best sequel ever, and I have two picks for that one, kind of. Um, they're not going to be very surprising to anyone. The first one is Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. This is, this is the sequel to Lies of Locke Lamore and the sequel to Red Seas, which is The Republic of Thieves. I love both those books so much, and I couldn't pick one of them, so because they were both such great sequels to everything. So those two. C. Currently reading. I am currently reading um, Isabel by Guy Gavriel Kay and The Tempest by William Shakespeare. D. Drink of choice while reading. Um, coffee or tea or hot chocolate. Really, I don't, I'm not too picky. <laughs> so anything warm, really. I feel like drinking warm things when I'm reading. E. E-reader or physical books. And I've answered this before, and it's physical books. I don't even own an e-reader, so, yeah. F, fictional character you probably have dated in high school. Um, and I had to think quite a bit for this one, because the person who I am now is different from who I was in high school. But I think I would definitely pick, um, no, not Locke, but John from the Gentleman, ba Gentleman Bastard sequence. Because while I think now my answer would be Locke, during high school, I think it would have been John, because John is so, like, he's got the rough exterior, but he's such a softy, and he loves to read, and he's so funny, so I think I would go with John. And G, glad you gave this book a chance, and for me, that is definitely The Lord of the Rings, because when I first started reading fantasy, I, um, I actually watched the Lord of the Rings movies first. And then I read the books, and although they weren't my favorite, they did introduce me to the rest of fantasy. So, yeah, and uh, that's a glorious introduction. So, yeah. <laughs> um, H is Hidden Gem, and that is for me Troilus and Cressida by William Shakespeare. It is one of his most unknown plays, and it's one of his ama most amazing plays, in my opinion. So, Troilus and Cressida, go read it or watch it, either or. I, important moment in your reading life. And for this one, I picked The Hunger Games because I think um, at that point in my life, I hadn't been reading as much as I used to. And when I picked up The Hunger Games, it kind of just kind of drew me back again, which was wonderful. So The Hunger Games by Susan Collins, reading that book and the rest of that series got me into things. Um, just finished. I just finished The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. It was pretty good. More on that to come soon. Uh, kinds of books you won't read. It's not so much that I won't read them, it's just that I don't really enjoy them, and they are horror, mystery, and erotica. Those are the kind of things that I don't really, I'm not really interested in reading. And L, longest book you've ever read, and for me, as well as for a million other people, that is A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin, that book clocks in at 1,177 uh, pages, so it's a really long book. M, major book hangover because of, and that for me is pretty much every book ever. I get really, I think about the books a lot, so whenever I finish reading a book, I just spend so much time thinking about it. I push myself, like I push myself to read another book, but I'll still be thinking about the book that I just finished, so I guess all the books ever. Uh, N, number of bookcases you own. Two. One here and one there. Uh, o, one book you've read over and over again, and that is the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It's my favorite Harry Potter book, and I've read it countless times, so that's the one. 
P, preferred place to read. And for me, that is definitely my bed. Although I do read quite a bit on the bus. So, my bed and the bus. Yeah. Q, uh, quilt that inspires you and gives you all the feels from a book you've read. And for me, this is from a graphic novel, and I guess it makes it really weird, but I'm going to read you the quilt. I got it on my phone, so here we go. Maybe we're all different people all the time. Maybe our identity is just fragments of memory and time. Maybe every time we change our lives, change direction, change hairstyles and outfits, another one of us grows to take our place, sheds us like a snakeskin. That quote is written by Ed Brubaker um, for, I actually forget the name of the comic, but I'll put it here so you guys can go look it up if you want to. But yeah, that quote. I just love it. And... Uh, R, reading regret. And for me, that's most definitely not getting into fantasy sooner. Um, I'm like, I had an inkling that I would like it, but I just never actually did it. So that's definitely my reading regret. Um, S, series you need to finish. And I've got two that I can think of, and that is The Magician's Trilogy by Lev Grossman and The Grisha Trilogy by um, Leigh Bardugo, because I really like those. I just haven't gotten around to finishing them. Um, and T is three of your favorite all-time books, all-time favorite books, and that is Lies of Locke Lamora, A Feast for Crows, and Troilus and Cressida. You, unapologetic fangirl for, <laughs> this one was super easy as well, Marvel and superheroes. I, I just get all the feels for those things, so, yeah. And then V is very excited for this release more than all the others. This one's tough because the releases that I'm very excited for don't even have dates yet. So that kind of sucks. But they are Thorn of Amber Lane by Scott Lynch. That is the sequel to these guys. Are you getting sick of them yet? Yeah, so Thorn of Amber Lane by Scott Lynch. And The Winds of Winter, which is the sequel to um, A Dance with Dragons, which is... Song of Ice and Fire, that one. And then W is your worst bookish habit. And for me, that is reading too many books at the same time. And two, I get annoyed with main characters. I don't know why. I just, it's not even that I hate the main characters. I just generally get annoyed by main characters. It's not the main character's fault. It's something in me. I don't know what it is, but the only exception to this I can think of is really Lies of Locke Lamora, because I really like Locke, so I don't know. Maybe it's just the kinds of characters. <laughs> and then X. X marks the spot. Pick the 27th book from your shelf from the left. So, so that was Mouse 2 by Art Spiegelman, and this is um, an excellent, excellent graphic novel about the Second World War. It's a memoir. So I guess it's not a graphic novel, it's a graphic memoir. So it's just fascinating and it tells the story in a very interesting way and it's very meta in terms of being a graphic memoir. So you should all check it out. It's really good. There's two parts. There's one and then this is two. And then why is your latest book purchase? And for me that is Fables, which is also a graphic novel. I'm not going to say too much about this because it's going to be in a video soon. So, And then um, Z is Z Snatcher, which is a book that kept you up late at night. And for this one, it's a bit tricky as well because I generally stay up pretty late because I don't sleep because I'm a vampire. But I decided to pick the book that made me stay up way later than usual and for me that was Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I remember getting that book and finishing it in like one night I think. Yeah, so that one. And that is it. That is the A to Z bookish survey. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your picks are down in the description. Um, thank you Michael for tagging me. I'm not gonna tag anyone because I think this one's been around the booktube sphere long enough that Pretty much everyone's done it already. So that's it. that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff if you want to. And I will see you guys in my next video.